Hey guys, welcome back to Burns' Math Club. Today we'll be learning about linear inequalities. So linear inequality is basically like a linear equation, except rather than using an equal sign, you will be using the four inequality symbols, which are greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. So remember this, when you're graphing a linear inequality, if you have the symbols greater than and less than, your line will be dashed or dotted. And if you have greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, your line will be solid. So here, let's go ahead and graph this linear inequality, which is x is greater than 3. Remember this also. If you have x, then your line is going to be vertical. And if you have y, it's going to be horizontal. So in this case, it's saying the variable x is greater than 3. So here, this is, we, this is where we have the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. So since this says x is greater than 3, we have to plot 3 on the x-axis. Alright, so let's go ahead and plot 3. Alright, now we already know that our line is going to be vertical, but is it going to be dashed or is it going to be solid? Well, since the symbol is greater than, it's going to be a dashed line. So we're going to make a dashed line vertically down through the point. Alright, so this is what our line is going to look like. Now remember, when you're graphing a linear inequality, it also has to be shaded to show where the solutions of the inequality lie. So we can always use a test point to find that. So mostly, people tend to use the origin as the test point. The origin is where the graph, the middle of the graph, which is 0, 0. So just ask yourself, is if x is the has the value of 0, then is 0 greater than 3? Well, obviously 0 is not greater than 3. So that means this is not a, the solution of this inequality. So any of the solutions on the left side of this, in, of this line do not hold a solution to this inequality. That means we need to graph on the opposite side, which is the right side of the line. So let's go ahead and just make lines to show that we're shading it in. So that means all the solutions to this inequality lie on the right side of, the, of this line. So the value of x can be any point that is on the right side of this line. Alright, so this is how you graph a linear inequality. Now this is a very simple example. Let's go ahead and do another one that involves two variables. So we have 2x minus 3y is greater than or less than, sorry, greater than or equal to minus 6. Alright. So now, the easiest way to do this is to solve for the y. Because then, if you remember from linear equations, we, can, we have the slope-intercept form, which is y is equal to mx plus b. And that helps us graph our linear equations. So if we can just get this into y equals mx plus b form, it will be very easier for us to graph. So let's solve for y. So we need to eliminate the 2x. And we get negative 3y is greater than or equal to negative 2x minus 6. Now divide by negative 3 on both sides, and we get y is greater than or equal to, so remember, you have to divide by negative 3 to both of these individual terms, which are negative 2x and neg negative 6. Negative 2x and negative 3, divided by negative 3, just simply gives us 2 thirds x, and negative 6 and negative 3 give us positive 2. So now we pretty much have y equals mx plus b form, except the only difference is that this is an inequality and not an equation. So we're going to have a greater than or equal to symbol rather than an equal symbol an, or an equal sign. So that means this says that 2 thirds is our slope. But remember, we always graph our y-intercept first. Remember, so m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So graph the y-intercept first, which is 2. So remember, y-intercept obviously is going to go on the y-axis. So we have graphed the y-intercept. Now we have to graph the slope, which is 2, 3. So we're going to go up, because remember, slope is rise over run. So up 2 over 3. So 1, 2, 3, so it's over here. All right. And since this is a greater than or equal to symbol, our line is going to be solid. So our line is going to go approximately, I guess. It's going to look something like this. All right, now that we have graphed our line, let's go ahead and figure out where we're going to shade. So since this says that 
y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 3. We don't remember we can always use a test point. So let's say that we use the origin as a test point. So let's say we, we have the value of y as 0 is greater than or equal to 2 thirds times 0 is going to give us 0 plus 2 is 2. So it's going to give us 0 is greater than or equal to 2. Well, is 0 greater than or equal to 2? Well, obviously it is not because 0 is less than 2. So that means this is not where the, the solution of this inequality lies. So that means we have to graph above this line. That's where all the solutions lie. So let's just make lines to show that we're shading. Alright, so this shows that all the solutions to this inequality, which is 2x minus 3y is greater than or equal to negative 6, lie on top of this line. Alright, so this is how you graph a linear inequality, and this is what linear inequalities are all about. Thanks for watching this video, and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye!